All right, attention shoppers, listen up. The price you pay for many goods like clothing, furniture, even cereal could be going up. That is the warning from the Retail Council of Canada and other supply chain experts. Global's Ann Gaviola has the reason why. Chances are by now you've heard about the situation in the Suez Canal. And even though traffic is now flowing through it, that delay, which lasted nearly a week, is expected to take nearly 10 days in terms of sorting out the backlog that it created. And that's just one incident. COVID protocols in Canada and the U.S. mean offloading ships is a slow go, and that's contributed to a global shortage of shipping containers, making things worse. Just imagine a massive domino effect. Anything that goes through a port is affected, and that could hit you in the pocketbook. So that's furniture, electronics, apparel, footwear. It's a long list of products. Most of those, those products are purchased globally. This, we need shipping containers to get them to Canadian ports. Staples, including toilet paper, could be in short supply. Now, we produce some in Canada, but we also import a fair bit of it. And major Brazilian pulp producers have warned about shipping delays, and that could hit your local store shelves. The good news is that this is expected to have a minimal impact on our food supply. And that's because at this time of year, most of our fresh fruits and vegetables are coming in from the U.S. and Mexico by truck and by rail. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.